एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई जस्ट क्रिएटेड दिस फॉर्म फॉर अपडेट डिटेल्स ऑफ बिलिंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट ओके इफ यू आर नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो जस्ट गो टू डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड चेक आउट द लिंक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए न्यूज ए फ्रेम फॉर प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू क्लोज दिस एप्लीकेशन एंड नाउ वी हैव टू क्रिएट ए न्यूज ए फ्रेम सो जस्ट गोइंग टू द न्यूज ए फ्रेम and here i'm just renaming it as product details okay clicking on finish it's created okay let me close the update product part okay now first thing is we are going to increase the size to 600 and the size uh, and 450 okay after that we are going to the properties and removing the min max and close button from this form so i'm just clicking on this and decoded it. it get removed after that we are also setting the location where this form will be open so the x axis for that is 380 and for the y axis it's 160 okay okay let me close this now now we also need a component show event okay component show event we are writing the codes in this to load this okay so first now we are going to insert level in it now the first level we are taking here going to the properties and here just selecting uh, this one is for the product details you can see gif has been inserted now i am just double clicking on this and removing the name of this okay after that we are moving it little bit right okay now we need another level here just let me place this okay going to the properties and here i am just inserting product details okay let me move little bit down product details okay let me find the product details maybe the name is little bit changed you can see that details product okay let me close this let me remove the label name from here and we are going placing it little bit up okay now now here we need a separator so i am just moving to the swing menu and uh, let me place this separator here and increasing the size of this to 580 okay you can see 580 now now here we need a table so for that we are just uh, you can see this one is uh, you get the option is swing controls okay here i'm just placing a table here you can see and uh, let me decrease the size of this table and uh, let me resize it again to the 450 here Okay, now let me increase the size of this table. No, now, now we will also increase the size of this. And now we need a separator again here. So again, we are moving to the swing menu, and here I am just placing this and increasing the size to the five eighty again. Okay, now here we need two buttons. The first one is button is for the print. this table and the another button is for close sorry i just take lever okay we need button here and the second button is for close this okay so first we are making it as bold going to the properties and making it as bold 14 okay uh, let me close this after that rename this okay we are selecting double that's why it's not able to read this text let me read this text and here i'm just writing print okay and now going to the properties and inserting the icon for that it's writing print i already provided a link you can just go and download the these icons okay we did this text and this one is for the close close okay and going to the properties and i'm searching for icon close shape frame okay now let me close this now our form has been created now we have to insert an background image for that so for we are moving to the set layout and absolute layout after that we are inserting a label and in this label we are inserting an icon that one is our all page image background okay and placing it of Click on that and double-clicking on this, removing the name of that label, okay, and save. 
our front end part of this project is completed now first we are going to write the code for the close so here i'm just writing uh, in the you can see button set the visible visible okay false okay let me save this now we have to write the course in print so for that we are going to generate the event action action performed the same way when you click on double click it will also doing the same so first we are going to import uh, a thing import java x dot swing dot j table okay this one okay now first thing we have to print so for that i'm just moving here uh, in the button one performed okay here i just need to write try catch first try okay catch and in the exception exception okay and in try condition try sorry in try you just need to write j table one dot print okay uh, print print okay now in in brackets we have to write j table you can see j table dot print mode dot here we set to be normal normal you can see and maybe the chance error generated so for that we are displaying the message g option pan dot show message here i'm just setting null here okay now now we have to write in the component show we are writing code in component show because whenever the form is loaded then this part of the code will be executed so here again we are writing try catch to suppress the exception okay exception okay now first we are creating okay creating connection okay we are not imported so for that we just need to import here import java dot sql okay and we also need to import a project project connection provider class in it okay after that we are again moving to here and here we just need to write connection con equals to connection provider class dot get connection method in it after that we have to state in statement st dot con dot create statement after that we have to select so for that we are using result set rs equals to st dot execute query okay sorry i just click on equal no e execute query you can see that this option and here I just need to write select star from and i just need to write to, to table name here just product is our table name and after that we have to display this into our table so for that j table the set model we are taking model and in the this part db util you can see here db util dot result results set to the table model okay just click on this and there's a maybe chance any error generated so in that case we are writing the catch option j option pan dot show dot show message in it and here just remaining null and exception and we also need to connect this form with our home page so for that we are moving to design and just double clicking on product details okay here you can see that now we have to write new product details you can see now set visible here i'm just writing true okay now let me okay it's showing here uh, no get removed automatically because there is no error now let me run this file home page you can say just let me click on the button it's loading now when we click on product details okay you can see that okay here you can see the details 
product ID one, you can see the name, rate, you can see description, activation. There's also an option of print. Let me close this and insert a new, okay, product ID. We are taking us taking S P A S P A sparks here i just waiting 501 5001 and description shoes i'm just writing and clicking on save okay successfully updated now you can see fourth id let me close this let me click on product details here you can see details sparks 5001 you can see the description you can see and here you can see activation status so this is all about the product details uh to how to display the details and when we click on print, it will open a form. Let me you can see there's options, lots of options. You can see you can also change the landscape to the portrait and portrait reverse landscape and all appearance. You can set it, you can set it all. And when you click on print, it will print this table. And you can use this data for uh, something. You can use for lots of thing. Okay. So there's a close button. Just click on this. It will get closed. So this is all about product details. In the upcoming video, I'm just going to create a new A-frame for delete products. So I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.